so I had this really like heartfelt like oh I you know I'm just really protective of my son and I love my son and I would do anything for my son and we were playing and you know being happy and I was explaining why I get so upset when someone says something like oh well, you should do this with your son because I love my son more than anything and I try to bend over backwards to give him everything that he ever wants or needs um I do so much for him and therapy costs so much um but I know he needs it so you know I provide things that he needs and whenever someone whenever the person who I addressed in the other video um kind of hinted that you know well maybe I wasn't doing everything I could it hurt me and that's why I got so defensive because I love my son more than anything and I try to do everything I can possibly to make sure he has a happy life and um there are things going on that I don't like tell everybody that's going on I mean if you constantly follow my vlogs for like a year I've pretty sure I've pretty much shared a lot of stuff that I shouldn't have but we had a really fun video and then I get a message she's like your sound's not on and I'm like what <laughs> And he was sitting on my lap and he was bouncing around and he, I have a slider and sometimes he likes to play with it and I don't think, I think that I just didn't notice that he clicked it off. So, um, basically it was just me explaining that I'm not a jerk, <laughs> that I just get really sensitive, um, and I'm very passionate about everything I do, but specifically more so my son and his care because he requires so much care um that it's kind of stressing when someone's like well maybe you should do this or you should do this no damn it do you not realize how much i am doing i don't think i can do more if i tried oh i'm running ragged trying to do so much but i love him more than anything and it was a really cute video and he was playing and we were loving and it was just oh but then and he was waving hi to the camera and he was really responsive and he was playing and we were playing with each other and we were explaining our relationship and his relationship and what's wrong with him and everything like that and he's still not asleep um but it got I took it down because it didn't have any sound because I'm a goober and he sat on the slider <laughs> Oh, but, um, I don't think people mean bad when they say, oh, you should do this, or this and this should be done. I think that they, they have good intentions, but I also think that people don't realize that sometimes good intentions are hurtful, and if you don't know the whole story, it's kind of like, I mean, I do everything I can for my son, and my power, too. I'm over here, um, taking care of both my parents and him. Um, and by any means, he comes way, way before they do. But, um, just because I love him so much, so incredibly much, I love my son. For someone to be like, oh, well, maybe you should look at it through his eyes, hurt me. Because for someone to think that I don't think of my son first is like, whoa, does that not come across? Do you not think that I would do that? That, that just I don't even understand or know where to begin with that um and it was a cool video it was a long video it was like an eight minute video but it was me explaining you know exactly what's going on and um he's still not he's laying in the bed just up in the ceiling Sometimes I do vlog with him in the room, but it's never angry rants. Never angry rants when he's in the room. Because I don't want him to see me angry or upset. Um, <laughs> I'm very passionate um, about everything. It's no, I, There's no gray ground with me. There's no like, oh, kinda. No, it's like, oh yeah, really? Okay. Um, I very much love with all my whole heart. Or I get really bad. <laughs> Um, and sometimes I do both at the same time, but it's, it's for someone to insinuate that I wasn't loving my son to all of his needs or his full capacity of what he needs bothered me so very badly. Um, but 
I could have handled the situation a little bit better. I could have been a bit nicer about the situation. I didn't have to be so crash and just the bitch that I was because I just got so hurt. I love my son more than anything. And for someone to think that I wouldn't, you know, try to do whatever is best that could benefit him. Really, you don't understand me and you don't know me. You don't understand all the things that I do. He has to have therapy. Um, well, now it's up to three times a week. But all the stuff that's entailed in his therapy, all the stuff that's entailed with him and taking care of him. Um, and it's, it's not a bother to me at all. That's my son. And that's just the way things are. Um, sometimes I would like some sleep, specifically when we're going on day six, day six, day five, and I can't form sentences anymore. Vocabulary and common day everyday words are just like, uh, oh, I keep yawning. I'm drinking tons and tons of bottles of diet. Well, this one's not diet. Oh, no. <gasps> no, why would I get regular? Oh, I'm so mad at myself. Well, I'm drinking tons and tons of regular green tea that's lemon flavored. No wonder why it tasted funny. I hate lemon. I very much hate lemon unless it's in Dr. Pepper. Um, I like lemon Dr. Pepper. Don't. I don't know why. I just do. Anyways, but oh man, I'm so distraught about the di uh, the stupid diet thing now. But I'm drinking drinking tons of tea with caffeine to keep me awake. Um. Because he's... He doesn't sleep. Excuse me, I'm sorry. It's night time and whenever the house is quiet. Because my, my parents are actually in bed. Um, and they're in their separate rooms. It's, it's hard for me to stay up with no one to talk to or interact or anything like that. And I know I'm interacting with you guys, but... It's kind of limited. <laughs> Um, I'm really tired. Yeah, I'm so tired. I, I'm sorry. Um, I really wish you could have saw the video because it was cute and he was playing. And he was like, no, no, it's okay. Mommy, no yell. Because <laughs> I told him, you know, they think that, that I yell. And he's like, you yell? What? He was so funny. He's like, no, you no yell. Grandma yell. Um, my mom does yell <laughs> quite a bit. Um, everything's, oh my god, that's the funniest thing. Um, when he was learning to talk, oh my god, was like one of his first words. Um, like he can't say much, but he can say, oh my god, or oh god, <sighs> so funny. Um, therapist thought that was hilarious. She was like, what's going on with this? I'm like, my mom lives with us. <laughs> And she's like, oh, okay. Okay, I understand then. It was so funny. Um, but he has a social worker that he speaks to. Um, and we, we talk to the social worker. He has therapy constantly. So if anything was going wrong, or if I wasn't meeting any of his needs, they'd all get on my, my ass. He has occupational therapist and a speech therapist he talks to. Um, the case management worker that he talks to, and the case management worker... Um, interacts usually daily, on a daily basis with him. The other two are every Monday and Wednesday and now Friday. He has a doctor that he speaks to. I mean, and they're, they're watching. Um, so there's nothing going on with my son that's of a negative light. Also, we're trying to immigrate to the United Kingdom. Um, so we've got immigration looking into things. So I promise you there's nothing going on with my son. He's not stressed, and I'm not abusing him. Um, and I know you weren't insinuating that, but I'm sorry. If I wasn't seeing to his needs, to me that would be abuse. Um, if he was so nervously stressed out about stuff, that's why he's not sleeping, to me that would be abuse. And that's kind of like, I don't know if you've realized that's what you insinuated. You insinuating that I was abusing and neglecting my son. That made me like, what the fuck? No, no. <laughs> um... Yeah, so there there are people looking out for him.